hello family you're welcome back to purposeful parenting channel where we do parenting together so today it's a quick one i just want to do a completion of our last video which is how to improve my child's academic performance or how to boost my child's academic performance from this year right so today i want to state two more important ways two more important practical ways you can do this outside from the ones i've already mentioned in my previous video so i'm going to put the link for that first video below so that you go see that video for yourself so today let me start by saying that every child is a blessing we come from the same God, but we are made, we are wired differently. So it's now left for you as a parent to know how your child assimilates. Children learn differently and their learning capacity is not the same. But don't say that this child is an illiterate. No, no child is an illiterate. There is something in every child that makes every child unique so as a parent is your duty now to find out how your child assimilates things what method helps your child to learn more it's your duty is your child grabbing more with pictures or maybe with demonstrations it's your duty to now find find out the method your child assimilate with more and use that method more on your child why am i expounding this i said it in my first video but i want to repeat it here and expound it more so that you go find out yourself okay now outside from finding out your child's learning method and using it more on your child another way you can improve your child's academic performance it's by getting a home tutor for your child. Now, there is a way we do it here in Nigeria. Just it's, it's few schools that are doing it right. Most schools during lesson, during school lesson, they still want to cover all the subjects, which is not the way it's supposed to be. Lesson, it's supposed to be the time when the teacher takes the child on those subjects, the child is not doing well. The child is not good with. The child is finding difficult with. That is what lesson is. Maybe they did mathematics that day and the topic is fraction. And after giving classwork, you find out that few students or few pupils do not do well in that mathematics. So during lesson, we are supposed to focus more on that area. But we hardly do it here. Just few schools are doing it. But you, it is now your duty as a parent to find out the areas where your child is not doing well. And that means you have to get involved in your child's academic life. Not just the teacher. So what areas is my child not doing well? now look for a lesson teacher in that area let's say your child is not doing well in bst that is basic science and technology find a good lesson teacher in that area and that does not mean you have to step back no you have to also get involved even sometimes when the teacher is taking the child on the lesson you can be near you can be close so that you see what the teacher is doing and even when the teacher leaves, you can continue from there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Apart in, okay, even in this, in this aspect of getting your child a lesson teacher, one other thing you can do is, let me also use that BSC as an example. Your child is not doing well in BSD. Thank God for technology these days. Technology is bad. Technology is also good. Go out there. There are cities where people did comprehensive lesson on a particular topic you can get it for your child it's not every time they'll be watching one program or the other sometimes slot in that dvd play it for your child maybe your child is finding problem with the solid state of matter go get a cd on that topic 
People are teaching so many things these days. Play it for your child. Let your child watch. There is, there is a connection with the brain and what the child is always seeing. Okay? So that is it. And finally, the last thing you have to do is pray for your child. But the problem most of us do is we pray and we don't put action. And Apostle Paul in the Bible advised against that. Pain without work is dead. Even as we pray, we need to walk. You need to back your prayers with action. So how do you do it? You are doing your effort, helping your child academic-wise, getting involved in your child's academics, which I explained how you can do that in the previous video. And now, with that, you can now pray for your child. Before your child leaves for school, you have authority over that child. You kneel the child down before you. Lay hands on the child. Anoint the child. Bless the child. Even while the child is sleeping. Pray for your child. Do your path. And then God will do his path. Okay? So that is what I'm going to say today. And with this, if you can do all this, I promise you and I pray that God who sees your effort will grant your effort with success. That this year, you are going to see a radical change in the life of your child. Not just academic-wise, in every other area. And let me say this, you don't need, you don't need to look for a, a boom change. Like you want the change to happen, bam. No, it's gradually. Just from this, you start observing the assessment of the child, the child performance. You can see that gradually the child is changing with your effort, with your actions, and with your sincere prayers that is backing up those actions. Okay? So thank you for staying with me today. Like this video, share with your friends and family. See the first video on how to improve your child's academic performance. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new in this channel and turn on your notification. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, family.